The run that our chickens are currently in is too small for our flock of six chickens. We kind of threw it together in a hurry because we were starting to have trouble with aerial predators and we used to free range them but we kind of decided we wanted to protect them a little more until we could figure something else out. And so we brought that run here to the new house with us and we're ready to get them into the space that they deserve. So we have decided to use our kids old trampoline for an upcycled trampoline chicken tractor. And there are several varieties of methods of doing this. I think we're going to set it up as a trampoline and then put some chicken wire around the outside and a little door on one side. The top of the trampoline should provide some decent shade for them in the summer and the run will also attach to their mobile coop that they're currently in so they'll have somewhere to get out of the rain and we can move them around uh, around the property in this trampoline run. Now it's supposed to rain sometime possibly in the very near future. I'm just going to get as far as I can get. I don't know how far I'll get and we won't be finishing this run today but I'm just going to work on getting the trampoline reassembled since the move and this should be extra extra fun because this time I don't have the manual. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll see how I do. So the trampoline's all assembled. I think I actually did that faster than the first time when we first got it, so I'm very impressed with myself. We're gonna spend some time whenever it's dry in the next couple of weeks, hopefully, figuring out how to make this our movable chicken run. What we would like to do ultimately is keep them in a movable run so they're on fresh grass each day. And then if we have the opportunity to give them some supervised free ranging where we can be out here with them when we're working on projects, we would love to let them out. Uh, for that so they can free range a little bit and we can just make sure that we don't have too many issues with predators that way. Let's put the fence around the sides. Um, I actually used to come along and a, uh, I, ha I happen to have a fence puller for a chain link, but you could probably make one with just some hooks and an old board for but uh, I use that to pull the fence tight around the edges. And I'm just using some heavy duty zip ties to, uh, to hold it in place. So we'll see how that goes. Give the chickens a little bit more room. So it's pretty light. Um, you can drag it around the yard yourself pretty much. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be, we'll see how it works.
Charlie cut a hole in one of these panel areas and then added another piece of chicken wire over top that is hooked over that can be open to refill their water or to grab one of the chickens if we need to. It's big enough that one of us could crawl in if we had to, but we would generally avoid that. If we need to get a chicken, usually we'll come in at night when they're in the coop and they're more relaxed. <laughs> Our chickens have been in the repurposed trampoline run for a couple of days now and it seems to be going really well. It's not extremely predator proof, but we don't deal with a whole lot of predators here. And the ones we do deal with are aerial predators. So we're hopeful that this uh, trampoline surface will help to cut down on that. This gives us the opportunity to move them more often and get them to more fresh grass.